You are listening to the lost art of podcasting. I feel like I should say something smart. I wedged it loose with my ass. I said, look at this motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. Give me your shoe! If the stars had to sound, it would sound like this. Welcome to another exciting, somewhat exciting edition of the Lost Art of YouTube. Um, yeah, something like that. Well, this is the Lost Art of Podcast and YouTube channel. I am, of course, Coxie. You can probably note my voice from the podcast and other YouTube videos I've done in the past. But I can fix my mind. Playing me better now. And uh, so, yeah, it's. I was meaning to do this on a podcast a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't get a chance, and it's really one of those sort of things you have to sort of see it, really, to believe it. Um, so I tried one of these the other day on, well, the other week on episode of Random Mass Discussion. Check them out on YouTube and iTunes, Facebook, Stitcher, the like. Of course, Breaker. Um, so yeah, it was an aloe vera drink with strawberry, I want to say. Um, this one I'm trying today, as you put the notice from me lifting it up slightly there, is it's... I'm trying today the Tropical Aloe Prim Aloe Vera Orange Drink with Pulp. Hopefully that comes out the right way around. If not, I don't really care. But oh well. So, um, I tried the last one of these, the strawberry one. And it was a bit, that sort of, how do you describe it? It had that chunk of strawberry in it or something. And if this had pulp in it, and it was also sort of quite jellyish as well, the actual drink itself. Um, it doesn't appear to have an actual expiry date. Oh no, it does. 26th of December 2017. Ingredients purified water, aloe vera pulp, and aloe vera juice, cane sugar, sweetener, preservatives, natural colour, thickening agent, some other shite. Um, so yeah, it's. Vegetarian Society approved, and it contains two two servings. So um, yeah, let's just crack on. And it is you can probably see it is still sealed. And I'm now going to crack it open. There you go. Seal is broken. Unfortunately, I've not got a glass or anything to sort of do the colour, but we can see from the bottle it is that colour. So, um, ooh. Very, very orangey, very sort of sense. I'm hoping it tastes like that as well because I quite like orange normally. If you can tell as well, I've a really bunged up nose because I have hay fever or some shit this morning, as is the normal spring routine. But, um, so yeah, I got this at the pound in Poundland, it was one of my sort of semi Poundland finds. Um, it was two for a quid, I ended up getting this one and a bottle of strawberry, which I've had before and quite liked so. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try and hopefully it's alright. <laughs> you know what, that's actually really nice. That's I can see a bit of there's like a bit of orange jelly. Looks a bit like marmalade. Close to it, but um yeah, I'd quite happily drink that, so it's... Not much pulp in the moment, that's probably because I didn't shake it, so it's probably all sat at the bottom. So if we... Um, no, it's still not, not very pulpy, as I thought it would be, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's all just sitting in the bottom, and even though I've shook it up, but, uh, no, that's actually quite a pleasant drink compared to, considering Paul tried the original one, he said it tastes like arse, but there we go. So, um, aloe vera orange gets a thumbs up from the Lost Art. 
And um, yeah, I'd drink that again, more than likely, if need be. But um, so yeah, comment below, subscribe, share it, find us on Facebook, Twitter at Lost Art Podcast, Instagram at Lost Art Podcasting. Uh, find us on Spreaker, Stitcher, iTunes, YouTube, and all other podcast places. But I've been Coxie. This has been Aloe Vera, and you've been watching. Thank you very much.